everyone and welcome back, I'm Mr. Stoltz. Today it's time for a retro shoe from Jordan brand, and one that has not been released since 1999. Yes, so I'm talking about the Jordan 4 White Cement, one shoe that we've all been waiting for for a long, long time and is finally here. The new Cement 4s is part of Jordan's remastered retro program, and it's as close as the original as could be. So let's start looking at the box. On the top lid we have a red Jumpman logo, which fly underneath. And all the way on the bottom of the box, we have the typical cement colorway, and on the front it reads Air Jordan 4 Retro OG. The color is white, fire red, black, tech gray. I got it in a size 11, and it retails for 220 So let's take it out. So here we got it, the new 2016 version of the cement 4s. This shoe was first introduced in 1988 and 89, at the time when Michael Jordan played with it on court. And since then, this one has received a remastered upgrade, and the quality is excellent. So let's start looking at the shoe, why wait? The front toe box is all white. And the quality is once again excellent. It will definitely crease, but that's not an issue for me because of the quality of the leather is so smooth. So if we move up, we have a grid square like plastic, and right above it we have white laces. The top part of the tongue is made out of leather, and in the middle we have a red Jumpman logo with flight underneath. If we turn to the side, the first thing we notice is a Jordan tag that hangs onto it in transparent and orange color. This shoe has a white leather upper, and once again the quality is excellent. I haven't even worn it yet, and it's already started to crease because of the grains in the leather. It's really well made and super buttery smooth. In the middle part of the shoe, we have the same grid-like system like on the front. The top wing eyelets are black, with the iconic cement gray detailing right below it. At the bottom part of the shoe, we have a black outsole, and it goes all the way around it. There's cement detailing on the front, but also on the back that goes all the way around it. The air sole unit is transparent, with white around it. If we turn to the back, this is by far the most noticeable thing and the thing that we really love. Finally, they brought back the Nike Air logo instead of the Jumpman logo that they had on the 2012 version. The Nike Air logo on the back makes all the difference. It's just the way we want it to be. And of course, we have cement all the way around it. If we take a look underneath, we got one of the most classic outsoles. We got the classic Nike logo in the middle in red. We got gray color on the back. There's black, red, and gray on the middle and front part. If we take a look inside, the first thing we see is a black sock liner with a red Nike logo. The back part of the tongue is all black, with Air Jordan written in red letters with white around it. On the inside, there's two elastic straps that keeps the tongue centered at all time. Let's take a close up look at this classic sneaker. This is just a great shoe that fits a lot of clothes in your wardrobe, so let's take an on-feet look.
Yes, so that was the Cement 4 from Jordan Brand. What do you guys think about this sneaker? Do you like it? Did you buy it? Did you pass on it? Uh, do you think the price point is too high? Or do you think it matches the quality of the shoe? Leave a comment down below and let's talk about it. Thanks for watching everyone. Hit that subscribe button above and don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. And the video on this side is going to be the Tubular Doom Prime Knit. And on this side is going to be Air Max 90 Ultra Essential. And as always, see you next week.